Hi everybody, this is Carrick with ACG, and we are back with another part of our Let's Play for Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition. We just came back and now we need to go and get back to the inn and try to uh, figure out Jacob's murder. We talked a little bit about characterization in the last... Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, I can't reach that yet. I uh, talked a little bit about characterization in the last videos. Sort of got an idea of how I'm going to play Carrick in this game. A little different than other than other uh, times I've done playthroughs. All right, let's go in. Chief, hey, no one's around. You wouldn't raise a fuss if I uh, borrowed one of these fish, would you? Borrow, indeed. I'll sooner meet a cat wizard than see that merchant repaid. Come now, I'll be good for it, I swear. So what do you think? Should I snag a fish? Leave the fish yes. alone. You know what they say about giving a man a fish. This man should learn to stand on his own two feet. <sighs> I suppose you've got a point. Another day, another rumbling bit. <laughs> another accent that <laughs> sounds suspiciously like it's coming from somewhat the same area. I, you know, I, it is. I do get that it is hard to make true, you know, unique accents. Obviously, very few actual fictions that do a, a, even a very good job at all with creating their own fictions. All right, let's investigate. I was really hoping to find something better. I'm taking all your pillows. Got the room sort of set back up. Well, except I'm taking all your paintings and shit. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, <laughs> so I got some pillows, some random stuff, nothing huge in here. All right, so, uh, plot thickens. Ahura told us that Counselor Jake collected Starstone. He's quite right when he says it can hardly be a coincidence. Could the reason for his murder be linked to the collection? Fish thief. All right, fire, we got that. Guards of the bridge, we met two tipsy. Okay, so, right now, the only real quests we have involve using this uh, pyramid. But first, I want to go talk to Esmeralda about the murder. One thing I've always been uh, happy about with this game is the overall ambient sound effects. There's a lot of them. They do a really good job of mixing in. Some the voices sometimes can be a little loud, but the actual sound effect. Oh, whoops! Or that's the back door. The uh, the sound effects themselves do a fairly good job of sort of giving you the impression of being wherever it wants you to think you are. Here uh, in the city and stuff like that, there's a lot of good mixing with the birds that you can hear. Be happy with it. El Esmeralda's security guard with their leader in sight, which is Esmeralda herself. Go around and... Uh... I love it how almost every single fantasy game has you go behind the bar to talk to anybody. Like, that wouldn't be suspicious. Grant me patience. You're a source hunter, aren't you? Here because you think I killed my husband. How many times do I need to state and restate my complete innocence in the matter? I am Esmeralda, wife of Jake. And now, alas, his widow. Poor man. We were both so young when we married. He so rich and I so poor. But his one and only princess just the same. Like I told just about every legionnaire in town, I don't know anything about poor Jake's murder. 
I want his killer found and tried, but everyone suspects me of this evil deed. And you're no different, are you? So what happened? Some of them tittle-tattling crab chasers down the pub call me a murderous gold digger and you believe them? These insinuations truly go beyond the pale. Oh, I think I'm getting one of my headaches. Well, what do you want to know? Sometimes I forget they're even out there, to be honest. Remember, above all, to stay behind the wall, we tell our children. And when you've been heeding your own advice for seasons on end, you almost start to forget what the fuss was about in the first place. Better not to, though. They're still out there, the dead. And from the looks of it, they'll always be. She seems to be quite adamant about her innocence. We'll yes, need to does. look for evidence if we want to prove she actually did the evil deed. So I'm holding down the alt to see just different items. Would your wife or sweetheart be compensated by the Legion should tragedy befall you on the battlefield? I... I suppose so, lady. But seeing that I'm neither married, engaged, or attached in any way, I've never bothered to it. Polite, handsome, and single. Don't go anywhere tonight, Legionnaire. I'd be afraid alone in the dark. Okay, well, she sounds like a fucking winner, doesn't she, guys? All right, let's head back out. that there's a key Ooh. yeah that not quite expecting uh what he just did right there <laughs> sounded a little odd smelly panties all right we got those you, you never you never know when you'll need those right painting of a man I'm gonna take your shit and we're gonna take all of your items up here. We got your shit. Thanks. <clears throat> I've always found it funny that games don't allow for characterization rules to impact the overall game world. For example, when I was making this character, it would have been great if I could have chose something like, uh, you know, doesn't believe in stealing, right? And so, th and, and I mean this, the only way to get into items would be to smash them, right? I couldn't open them because uh, smashing them would indicate that me as a player really felt that I needed to, to, to get into that item. And it would still allow the flexibility of me still getting items out of, you know, buckets and jars and boxes, but it would add a little bit to the narrative because currently, you know, I, I, you, every game just prepares for you to steal everything off their walls, right? I mean, that's just, that is how it works. That is the plan. That is the way the development is actually prepared. So. That's enough of that now. Uh, let me see. I think I can go here and use the key to get in this way. Way we don't, she doesn't find out. Saw this door when we came back. But yeah, there's just, um, you know, one of these days a game's going to do that. A game's going to, you know, make that cho make that choice to really allow the player to to lock themselves into a certain play style, but at the same time, offer options. You know, it does not have to be one or the other. And uh, I'm always surprised that, for the most part, you know, g games seem to be treated in a very particular way where Talk about setting up the perfect crime Esmeralda you, has interesting taste in literature I just want them to be able to say what they say to where you um, you have certain things that you can do and I would love for them to be not locked out just slightly more difficult this is a book uh, about uh, pulling off the perfect murder I'm gonna go into steam mode, just in case. Okay, no, right, we're good. 
couldn't remember if I left that door open. Under lock and key. Chick's a flirt. All right. Got downstairs. Let's check it out. As always, incredibly explosive arrows and shit inside boxes. Always safe to have them. Ham. What do you guys think? Let's take some ham. What's this? So that's what that did. Yeah, button. A little secret there. Nothing in here. Uh, head into the secret area. Little dining hall here. Gold. We don't. We don't need the uh, gold cups or anything. But we do find something over here. Oh, get to this chest. What do we got? We got some wooden figure, a copper ring. We got some good stuff there. Let's take the painting of a pig because, I mean, it's a pig painting, right? I'm not quite sure I have to explain to anybody why we take that. Take the arrow, take the healing, of course, the gold. Oh, a bloody dagger. Bloody dagger. Could this have been involved in the crime? It could have been, but it also could have been used to kill the pigs. Blank fire scroll. Cheese. Check out the desk. Some money. All right. All right. Let's go back out over here. A unique place, but as of yet, not finding anything that's incredibly dangerous. Can't pick that lock. Or that immediately points out that she has been, or she is, the killer. Going through wicker baskets, nothing, nothing. Oh, got a uh, slow down arrow. I'll have to outfit that. Uh, matter of fact, bale of hay, let's grab some hay. Bale of hay, let's grab some hay. Bale of hay, let's grab some hay. Closet, uh, we'll leave the cloth wrap. Oh, look at that, iron key. Always, we need that. So, one thing we do know is that over here there was a chest we couldn't get into. Let's uh, see our luck now with the iron key of opening and nothing. Secret storage, nada, not a thing within it. All right, well, that'll give me a moment. I'm gonna go in. So, currently. You have uh, the different characters. Let's see, Medora. Got two-handed is her weapon. Bertord uh, is using Ten and Brom weapons and a bow. Okay. That works. So we're gonna find everything that was bow-like that I had. We're gonna give it to their daughter. I sent her a I sent her a scroll on accident as well. Thing here. We I mean, might as well. Might as well give everything to that character that uh, she can use. Okay. Game didn't see fit to outfit her with anything, so first we're gonna outfit her with a sword. Yeah, not a quick bulk. We just need to put these down here. The quick task bar. So many types. Look at that. That's why in this game I've always felt that the ranger character uh, just really held their own, own really nicely with uh, with the other characters. Zombie painting. 
doesn't mean anything. Got a pig, pig picture. Got some food, some ham. Boom, consuming ham. Chopping broccoli. Okay, so we have uh, done a good amount of stuff. Let's see if that iron key will open this lock now. Door. And it did. So we're going to get the healing potion. I'm going to check these. Another thing for a chick. And a couple items. And I can't remember. It's been a long time, but I can't remember if there's some secrets here. I'm not seeing anything pop up. Suspicious mound, I can use a shovel. I remember that much. Oh, whoops, we got something there. So this uh, this item said goes to archers, so we'll go ahead and send it to Bertrand blah blah blah, whatever her name is, and we'll have her read it. And she's got a new recipe, superior longbow, which is always useful. And while we're here, go ahead and just open these, verify that nothing gets changed. We don't uh, suddenly get some new skills over here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Unidentified. Let's see if she can identify. I don't remember if she had. She must not. Sometimes it's faster to just do this than to check their skills. All right. So we've got everything here that we can get. Everything that matters. Check the spots, check the areas. No more secrets that we can find. And I guess we go back out. Chess key. Let's see what we get. Can I attack this? At least so far, nobody's bitched. Okay. okay, yeah. I was just making sure we didn't, for some reason, share our inventories, but we don't. Fast and tighter than the treasury. Nothing like the old hammer sword combo to do damage to a giant block of wood. Got it. New cap. And a little piece of gold. I think I already had those. And some nice, uh. Some nice bracers. Polite, handsome, and single. Don't go anywhere tonight, Legionnaire. So now what we're gonna do? We're gonna go back here and we're gonna uh, see if we can confront her yet. As you'll see, little icons here showing your different statuses. Currently, because I am in uh, view, they get uh, let's see, plus five initiative, plus five damage. So matters when you are get into combat. The hunter returns. I hope you are here to listen. If you're going to accuse me of something, you would okay, here we go. To back up your ridiculous claims. Oh, that horrid tome of ill repute. It isn't mine. It was Jake's. He was a politician, don't you see? Always on the lookout for plotting rivals. Always trying to be one step ahead. Really, I should have thought a source hunter of all people would appreciate my dear husband's sense for survival. Perhaps it is you who should explain your presence in my cellar. And the dagger? It's simply a butcher knife used by my late husband to cut meat. 
He did so love to cook the deer. What will you think of next? Accusing me of bashing him over the head with a frying pan. Okay, so we've updated a little bit. Esmeralda claimed that the book was found was was actually Jake's, who wanted to remain one step ahead of would-be assassins. We continue to wonder whether said would-be assassin was an unknown sorcerer or his dear wife. And then this one says, claims the bloody uh, dagger was used for cooking purposes. Sounds reasonable, but is it the truth? Let's see if uh, a bodyguard will give us any data. Nothing. Won't even talk to us. Legion's greetings. I have been informed about your heroics on the beach. Were that I had been there to partake in the battle. But my duties lie here, sworn as I am to protect Lady Esmeralda from the rabble that would enforce summary justice on her. Even though she is, until proven guilty, wholly innocent. So fair a lady I have seldom seen in all of River, my friend. And I have traveled more extensively than migratory birds do. She stands accused of murder, but in my mind, her presumed guilt is a fallacy, and indeed a fabrication. A fabrication. Steadfast will I guard her. Never will I waver unless absolute proof of her culpability should be brought before me. And I hold no such proof exists. Jake's murder is, in a word, a tragedy. He was well loved in all of Sicy. The Council of Seven couldn't have wished for a better ambassador. That he of all people should have braved the undead siege for so long, only to be felled by foul sorcery, is heartrending. You claim to possess evidence that implicates Lady Esmeralda in the murder of her husband? Well, let's have it then. First we'll give him the knife. Used for cookery, was it? Well, that settles it. A perfectly innocent explanation for a perfectly innocent activity. Sure. Dearest Esmeralda, I never doubted her. So it was Jake's? Of course. He read it so as to outfox lurking assassins. Alas, that it failed him. Alas, that it is now used to slander his grieving widow. And what questions are those? Okay, so for now... Though that... That did help us. It actually didn't. Uh, we didn't find enough evidence. So what we could do, uh, let's go to, to, to just get us out. Well, we we know for a fact that we have uh, one other person we can talk to in town. But let's. Just is empty. Folded shirts. Okay. We got Esmeralda, we got the uh, Legion headquarters. Let's talk to Esmeralda one more time. Kind Septimus, you must have fought many a battle, am I right? The hunter returns! So, what piece of irrefutable I am Esmeralda? Well, what do you want to know? Well, there are certainly they came out of. Okay. We had nothing to say that was interesting. Uh, look in here. Not seeing anything I missed there. Back around and out. That's funny. One of the things I actually like about this game is that th things aren't fed to you. Uh, you actually have to really sort of figure things out for yourself. Let's go back to the captain. And uh, if you don't have the proper data, like, like you know, showing him that knife, it's awesome that you have to do that. And if you, I mean, if you don't have the proper data, there, no one's going to believe you that she murdered anybody. And we don't know if she did right now. I have to also say that one thing I'm actually pretty happy about is the um, overall pathfinding in the game. It's always been really well done. They follow directly, ex pretty much exactly where you expect them to go to. Here. Oh, 
Talk to Mr. Fun Pants. Mr. Pleasant Bags. Oops, I'm a detective. Yeah, I can't read it because we'll get you in trouble for stealing. Again. Do feel free to depart from Sising. What about it? Well, have you found any? So, you found a blooded knife in Esmeralda's cellar. Guess you can scratch the top candidate off your list of cliched clues then. Not exactly enough to arrest her for, is it? How to plan the perfect murder. Really? Really? She might as well wear a dress with the words, I killed Jake and I liked it, embroidered on it. <laughs> Convince me. So convince me, Hunter, and keep looking. <sighs> if you must. Now, one, one thing I like about the game, too, is that this is actually, I wouldn't call this a small quest, but it's not one of the large ones, not one of the super large ones, at least. And so that does result in, uh, I mean, some fairly long quest lines. I mean, not to be rude. They're, they're, some of them can be pretty insane. Go upstairs and talk to the uh, while we're here. Here's our, our dude. Of course you remember him. We just met him a little bit ago. Grab steal his shit. Okay, he got mad, so you can't steal too much from him. To us, you know. Happens to the best of Okay, I admitted I was wrong. Alright, let's go talk to him. I hope your quest fares well, dear hunter. But certainly. What would you Okay, he has nothing to add about the murder. So currently we found two pieces of evidence she's the murderer. Now we need to figure out if there's some other bit of evidence that we either have missed or that we need that we can find by going uh, back to their home or to the inn where he was murdered. Like I said, they follow the pathing just perfectly. They didn't get caught up on the building. One of the better parts of the game. We legionnaires are highly trained soldiers. Um, where is the... There we go. If you were to be ambushed, caught unawares, or catch me, for I might faint. She is such a whore. Just absolutely just nasty lady. Husband just died, like, just a couple days ago, and she's just doing everything she can to get the sergeant to take her into his bed. What a fun lady. Okay. So, we know that there's we know that there was a secret entrance. We got that. Let's make sure I didn't miss anything here. Within the secret entrance, this is the secret storage. Empty, empty, empty storage. I'm not missing anything. Pork. Man. Oh, 
closet. Check the hay. Always gotta check the hay, right? And the needle. Never, never know what you can do with a needle. And then we opened this area. There's nothing there that we're missing. Take the cheese, even though it's been sitting down in the basement for fucking months. Hey, man, it's been a long time since I did this quest. I'm having a hard time remembering. Could this be the murder weapon? Yeah, better confront. We did so, and... It was used f by Jake for cooking purposes. Okay. So I think what we should do is go back to the inn and verify at the inn if Jake cooked. I think that sounds reasonable. I don't know about you guys, but... People knew him, said that they knew of Jake very well here. So we'll talk to the innkeep and we'll see. Herring, yeah. Anybody selling dried fish, just what a bad day. All right, let's make sure he doesn't have anything to say about it. I suppose you're here to... Yes. As easy as it... Jake and as... Mar it's very tragic. Nothing to say about it? Well, let's talk to Novak. Verify he doesn't... Just the per Nothing else to say. Okay. This innkeep always bothers me. He keeps running around. Mind if that room where it actually came, I saw, I was startled by the time whoever done it as Councillor Jake. Esmeralda's longest standing love has the audacity to remain lodged at the names of all you three hopeless sailors. Well, between you. Okay, and he has nothing to add. Let's go back in here. Greetings, Source Hunter. Ready to have another look? Yep. All right. Did we miss anything? Anything that's missed? Twice. Crab cellar. If only the popular girls from the Source Academy could see how edgy and dangerous you've become. Taking his shit. I think I got this wand. her forever. Let's see if Dora does more damage. There we go. Look at that. There we go. The money. Oops. I don't want to stab the money. But I do want your shit. Okay. 
That's your log. You always need you always need as many logs as you can find, right? It's like just walking around with a bunch of logs in your pocket. What's up? I mean, I already do that, of course. Of course. Thanks for that piping hot fucking plate that I just grabbed, or bo boiling pan that I just grabbed. That's awesome. Ornate key. Okay, yeah, just found an ornate key. Most likely for the chest that I just absolutely beat the shit out of. Now. See if we've got any spells. Wind, water. to tell where the damage or where the the gas is coming out there's technically there we go we got poisoned but in, oh got lucky there instead of um, losing anything I just got poisoned I can deal with that you should heal up here soon okay unless it keeps blowing up our enemies have laid a trap yeah, you think so? I'm fading. Fast. Okay, so... Inventory. You open them up a little bit. Into the fray once more! Too bad I can't walk through my own blood, right? Ooh. 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 Alright, well we got out. And... We got what was in the chest. We got everything we wanted. And th there's the key. <laughs> oh man, that's good stuff. Oh, did we go in here? We did, we did, we did, we did. There's nothing of vital use. Okay, cool. All right, I'm gonna end this part of the walkthrough here and try to remember, I'm, try I'm gonna try not to go and look at any walkthroughs. I'm gonna try to remember off the top of my head what I needed to do next. I'm not 100% sure. Looking at my log, I've, there's, I'm pretty sure there's, there's one other thing there's one thing to prove that she didn't, or that she's doing something wrong. I just don't know if that's true or not. It's been long enough. I can't remember if she actually killed him or not. Anyway, so that's it for me. I'm really enjoying this. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like the little bit of the discussion about game design and stuff like that that we do as well through these. Uh, if you do, hit thumbs up. If you don't, hit thumbs down. And as always, peace out.